Hey everybody, it's Rachel from Wraps by Rachel. I'm sorry for the weirdo angle. I broke another set of clips for this um, light ring and um, camera holder. So I'm just doing the best that I can and hopefully you will bear with me. Well, it happened to me once again. I was signed up for a vendor event and um, we had some storms that came through. So the event was canceled. And so what did I do? I decided to go thrift shopping because that's kind of what I do. And so I got some golden books, but I also got some really cool packages that I'm gonna open for you. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so anything that I've already shown you before that maybe I got duplicates of, I'm not gonna show you. This is all new stuff. So I have Big Hero 6, super excited about that. What a really cute movie. I just, I love, I love Baymax. Baymax is awesome. This is a really cute one. Um, I got this book called Colors Are Nice. It was originally a 49 cent book. And yeah, I mean, the colors that are in here are great. Um, apparently somebody gave this to a child on July 3rd, 1979 in McLean, Virginia. And I'm just looking for the actual... This is the eighth printing in 1976. It's originally from um, 1962. And the, the, the colors that are in here, and I mean, just look at that. Like how gorgeous is that? Um, really cute story, really pretty pictures. And there we have it. That's gonna make an awesome journal. Um, Lassie and the Big Cleanup Day. It's the authorized edition, I guess, as opposed to the unauthorized edition. It was originally a 39 cent book. And this was published. This is the third printing from 1971. And again, like how beautiful is that, is that artwork? Look at the cute little baby deer and Lassie and Timmy. I love it. I have Soccer with Mom. This is kind of a more modern book, obviously, but um, digging the multicultural, digging mom being the soccer coach in this in this book and spending time with their kids. I think that'll be an awesome um, book for somebody who maybe is going to be a mom or a gift for um, somebody who's a soccer coach. And then this is one of the, the little, the first little golden books. Um, it's smaller than the other ones. This is Richard... Um, Scary's Christmas Mice, and that's adorable, right? <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Veggie Tales, St. Nicholas, Veggie Christmas Story. This is not a little golden book, but I'm super psyched about this. Look at the colors here. Well, this was $3 for me to buy this Better Homes and Garden Garden book. There's the spine. I mean, I just, I love these colors. I love everything about this. When you open this up, it says this is from copyright 1951. And um, there's like all these different little tabs and there's like great drawings in here, various um, kinds of pointers and stuff. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna utilize this, but I'm like psyched psyched I tell you that I have that. Okay, so the rest of the stuff that I have, I've got a bunch of these packs, and um, let me just tell you that I <clears throat> kind of come in, so I'm in frame here. So I was actually kind of disappointed because when I went to um, Unique Thrift Value Village, it's like they've raised the prices for these packs. These packs used to be like usually $2 and now most of them are starting at basically $4. And so I had to be really, really selective, but I think that what I got is, is gonna be worth it. <clears throat> so um, this just kind of looks really, really vintagey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up. And back to the side. Yeah, that is just screaming early 1970s to me, wanting to say, in a word or two, how much I think of you. That is adorable. I'm already happy with, with my purchase. Here's an RX for a wonderful vacation. Have lots of fun. Peace on earth with like little 
those little cutouts there. So long, good luck. Best wishes always. Happy birthday, daughter. A couple of these. Get well wish. So, I mean, I'm kind of placing this stuff in like early 70s, maybe mid 70s. It's just kind of the vibe and from the colors and the feel of the paper and everything. To a happy pair, it's your anniversary. Please get well. Oh, here's another one of that, um, that pretty lady. This must be from like a set. Thoughts of you. Very similar. Speedy recovery. You're looking ever so much better. Get well quick. Just to say the whole world is nicer because of you. Happy birthday. Sorry I'm late. Didn't forget you. Just missed the date. Speedy recovery. You're so nice. Birthday card. Looking in this little robins. And these colors are really adorable. Um, hoping you feel better. Please get well soon. They're thinking of you. I mean, these colors are just a Christmas wish for a dear daughter. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Trying to flip through these quickly, but it's there's not a whole lot of duplicates. Birthday wishes. Um, happy birthday. That's pretty. Similar set. Get well soon. The flowers. Happy birthday. Duplicate, duplicate, um, get well. Wishing you the nicest day. This must be from like a collection. And you, I don't think you can really see, but there's like embossing that's here and that's kind of pretty too. Wishing you get well soon. Happy birthday. Dropping you a line to say hello. Okay, so that was, yeah, that was worth the four dollars. I mean, I would have been happier if I was spent three or two dollars on it. But let's go to the next package. This is also four dollars. Getting a little vintage vibe here from this. It looks like there's um, some sets of stuff in here. Okay. So, birthday wish. Just like this scallopy edges here. Pretty on the inside. Um, to the happy family. I'm not sure if you can see the little sparkles going on there. This must be for like a new baby. Yes, congratulations on your new baby. Um, birthday. It's basically the, the same card, but um, this one is a get well soon and this one is a happy birthday. Um, get well birthday and again same picture but one is a birthday card and one is just have a happy day birthday warmest thoughts of you birthday hope you're having a better day birthday, um, birthday. Well, birthday princess wedding and then here are the envelopes for that and then there's some cards back here too okay um birthday <sighs> neighborly easter greetings i think this is when people send a lot more cards and you just send a card for everybody um Sort of a Bo Peep, get well soon. Uh, you are a wonderful aunt. There's a little 
a little um, jewel there. Happy birthday. Oh, that's adorable. Oh boy, here's a Halloween mask. Oh, oh, that is super cute. And then you, you punch out everything with like little instructions in the back. Wow. A Valentine for a nice godchild with some really hot pink. This is actually like, um, the pink is actually like a velvety. Hi brother, happy birthday. Pop, pop, close your eyes. Surprise, happy birthday. Christmas card for dad, very vintage looking right there. Love to my husband at Christmas. Oh, wow. This is, I'm putting this mid-70s here. A Father's Day wish to my Playboy. From his Playmate. Happy Father's Day, honey. I don't know that you would get a card like this anymore. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wifely jobs no cinch. At times it leaves me cross, but I kind of like my job because I kind of love my boss. Once again, I don't think we're finding cards like this anymore. Mother's Day card. A bunch of envelopes. Envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. Envelopes envelopes here's a get well card birthday card very sparkly and very decorated on the inside uh, kitten basket for your birthday a couple of those and happy birthday granddaughter that was a vintage fun pack for sure okay um, so this next pack, also $4, um, I was very intrigued by this kind of multicultural card, and there's a bunch of them. Um, so here's like the envelopes for them. It says you need extra postage. And then these cards. So you've got like a reindeer. And then it looks like it's like Hindu or like from Thailand. I don't know. It's blank on the inside. Okay, so what does this what does this say? Vatican Library collection. We hope that your enjoyment of this high quality product is enhanced by knowledge that a portion of these proceeds will fund the restoration and preservation of the Vatican Library. Called Fondi de Oro or gold bases, Roman gold glasses. Um, so in the second and third century, Christians used gold glass to mark graves in the catacombs between the city, beneath the city. Mourners would toast to the deceased, break the base from the vessel, and press the circular base on the soft catacomb walls. On their next visit, the shimmering glass would reflect the torchlight and guide relatives to the proper grave. Wow. So, okay, I was like super wrong, but, you know, I'm just kind of wondering if this is maybe like, because it like, it has a like, Christmassy vibe to me. Um, I could probably include this with like some Christmas journals or something. I'm wondering if it's like Silk Road kind of inspired. It's weird. I'm loving it because it's weird and I love what it says on the back because that's weird. I dig the weird. Okay. In case you haven't noticed, I dig weird. Okay. So putting that to the side. Um, what else do we have going on in here? Some kind of... Father's Day card. Happy day for your birthday. 
sympathy card. That's cool. That red-headed princess riding side saddle with her hot man. Loving that. It says, love conquers all. Digging that one. Um, kind of a festive birthday card. 1978. The Native American rolled cigarette old man. I know your age and I'll never tell. Eh, not my taste, but okay. I'll figure out something to do with that. A little embossed shell. Blank card. Oh. This is pretty. It's just like a little envelope. This reminds me of the kind of envelopes you get on um, Chinese New Year to like feed the dragon. If you've never done that before, you need to do that. Envelopes. Bank card, envelope. Um, not real sure what that scene is there. Blank card. It's from the Smithsonian. Um, Pomegranate Publications, Bar Italia. Another blank card. Memphis, Tennessee, photograph by William Eggleston. It's the inside of somebody's freezer. Not my taste, but I'll figure out something to do with that. Um, here's a bunch of like little cards. They look like from like the New Yorker. Yeah, New Yorker collection. Um, I know you're working dog, Angus. I just don't have anything for you right now. Okay. Envelopes. Um, there's like a gardening card. Empty on the inside. Okay. So, some hits and some misses in this pack. Alright, we're coming up towards the end here. So, this package seems to be all kind of vintage wrapping papers. This was $4.00. And this pack that's here on the top was really intriguing to me. One, um, it says it's from Woolworths. That's a store that doesn't exist anymore. So um, 100 square feet assorted gift wrap, 24 sheets. Somebody bought it for 25 cents. Um, but I really am digging this sort of vintage Santa. And, uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. So we have Vintage Santa. A whole bunch of that. I'm not sure if you can kind of see, but there's a whole bunch of that going on. Here's a bunch more um, various vintage paper. Vintage paper. A little bit got used to that one. Vintage paper. These are pretty. Those candles, those are lovely. Here's some paper that got used. Real bright colors there with like the like the three wise men, it looks like. Vintage Santas. These are gonna go great in the Christmas journals that I'm gonna be doing. I am loving this. Vintage Santas. And then, you know, what's a Christmas pack if you don't have some blue sheets? Because that way you can give something to your Jewish friends. So says this Jewish girl. And it's not in your face Christmas, so you won't offend your Jewish friends. Because everybody has at least one or two Jewish friends. And that's what that is all about. A little bit of a Christmas undertone, ever so slightly, but um, yeah, good try. Okay, but that this is a score. This this in and of itself, I would have bought you know these alone just for four bucks, and I'm 
I'm gonna do something with the little Woolworths thing there. Let's see if I can, oh, I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, what else do we got going on here? Um, here's some more vintage paper sealed in the pack. Uh, congratulations. Not super vintage feel, but um, sure. Here's a, it's a bunch of paper, you know, packs of paper are sealed here. So this is from Dollar Am, Dollar Am, Dollar Rama, which is a dollar. Four sheets. Um, this is for your wedding. Two big sheets. This is open, so there's just one sheet in here. But um, like plants, those are cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is 1970 right there with these weirdo clowns and the yellow and orange and, um, you know, back when people like actually didn't think clowns were like creepy and scary yet, but I mean, the kids did, but you know, um, I think it's before everybody else caught on that clowns are weird and creepy and scary. So that's, that's that. Um, here's just some random rose paper in here open this sealed up uh trying to figure out where this came from but um there's a bunch of different sets in here and i'm gonna open that up it's like partly open um and it says that there are 10 sheets so we have some, I am really liking that, that little cardinal there. This is really, really pretty. Kind of an iridescent kind of feel to this paper. Yeah. Um, here's some more, it's just the, the vintage-ness of this paper is killing me. Love it. Got some Vintage Santa and Elves. Vintage Candles. Poinsettias. That is some serious awesome sauce right there. Um, here's some vintage trees and vintage toys. Um, best wishes, congratulations. Maybe this is designed for like giving a wedding gift or something. I'm not sure what specific occasion, but whatever it is, best wishes and congratulations. Here's more of this congratulations page. I'm not so psyched about this one, but there's, there's two packs of that. All right, that was a complete score. Okay, so here's the last thing that I got and I'm Pretty excited about this. So I was just having a conversation the other day with my friend Leslie Zwee on, because um, as everybody knows, I sell Color Street. So, you know, ask me about my nails. And she was like, okay, well, when the Christmas nails come up and you're doing like vendor events, one of the things you should do is you should get some really cute like little stockings and maybe show that like this is a good stocking stuffer. So I found, look at how gorgeous this is. So we've got a little loop for hanging and there's like some ribbon. I don't know how well you can see, but this is like, like embroidered. Um, there's like little, little, like little jewels on here. And then there's these little jewel balls here at the bottom. And then you kind of go down and this is, there's, this is beads. And then these little red ones, these are little beads. This is all embroidered. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's not handmade. I'm sure that, you know, um, and then we've got more of this sort of kind of lacy kind of thing here and a little more, you know, what looks like hand embroidering. You know, again, it's probably machine done, but designed to look like it was hand done. Um, and so this stocking, and this stocking was $3. And so, I'm trying to do this. So probably what I'll do is I'll like, you know, ball up some uh, like newspaper, or, you know, old wrapping paper, something that paper I don't care about. 
kind of put this at the bottom and just kind of fill that up. And then um, I will like put a couple of like, like this and then hang this up and have this at my table so that, you know, these aren't like slipping down to the bottom, but you can see like, oh, look at how Color Street, Color Street nail strips, these are an awesome stocking stuffer for somebody that, you know, maybe like a teenage girl or an auntie or um, the babysitter, you know, babysitter, I don't, whoever, you know, it's just kind of like a really good, inexpensive little gift. It will fit nicely in a stocking and um, help help fill out the stocking. And that is lots of fun. And I'll, you know, put whatever. I just grabbed these two because it was easy for me to grab these two, but maybe put like the Christmas, when the Christmas designs come out. And so I'm like super psyched about that. So that was my haul today, bringing this around. So as I always say, hi, how are you? Um, keep your eyes open. You just never know what you're gonna find. And, um, you know, you, you can't necessarily go looking for things in specific. I was looking for, I mean, definitely was looking for a, um, a stocking. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. There we go. I'm not so bright in my eyes. Um, you can't see my face as well, but now my eyes aren't killing me because as you saw from my other video, I'm having some issues with my eyes. Um, glaucoma type symptoms and whatnot sensitivity to light pressure behind my eyes you know what are you gonna do I mean it's life right like you just gotta you just gotta roll through it and just do your best um just be happy and so as always um I love doing these videos for you I am interested in whatever um feedback that you might have for me if you have questions if you you know want to know more about some of the things that I'm doing that would be great um, I am going to be using a lot of this stuff for making um, journals uh, specifically for like Christmas journals doing like little golden book type stuff and um, but I do other projects too I do custom orders hey if you have a project that you think that I would be able to do for you just you know just let me know um, and these things will be going on my Etsy page at some point hopefully sooner rather than later and um, that's it. So have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I love my subscribers. Y'all are like cute and awesome. Um, and have a lovely evening. Thanks so much. All right, bye.